same life, love, joy, pain, peace, war, day, night, rich, poor, blind sight, less, more, soft, hard, I go, God speak, I know you. But I mean, I have to admit, you kind of want a little Kanye with this track. I mean, it was I a actually little... did a month ago. I did a month ago though. I did this before. Um, in a way, now. Okay, so apparently you Kanye stole your kind of concept then. I don't think it was a concept that was stolen. I think that. Those type of that texture music had already been done, mm -hmm. and the weird thing about that is, um, when you do certain music and somebody with a with a broader scale or a bigger platform mm -hmm. does something in that lane, mm -hmm. even they, if you were doing it before prior to that, you can right. go back and like research back because I maybe maybe I, maybe I did an O seven, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or or the or the beginning of O eight, mm -hmm. and they had that same those same sounds, mm -hmm. but when you like due to the fact everything is so digital and everything is online, it's not really hard to um go into MySpace and these guys. Not saying him per mm -hmm. se, but any major artist, as far as they style, way where they dressing, the way they talking, the slang mm -hmm. they getting, whatever. Once they come to a bigger platform, whatever, they bring it forth. It almost drowns you out. But right, of I don't course. think it was Kanye at all. But even if it is, I mean, it's, it's still a. I mean, I don't have a deal. I don't have. I don't have those type of um, that type of equipment to 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 even. I think even I ain't say match those sounds, but I mean I take it as a compliment. At the end of the day. The song, see, and this is the real thing about that song, L O V. People think it's about love. When I say love, I wasn't. I technically was the world, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I wasn't, so it's really abstract, so I have to super, really listen to this. No, it's not, at the end of the song, like the second verse, it's not trying to be superficial, left field, like trying to get super deep and philosophical at all. It was just a record. I had fun with it. I didn't even think about what I was saying. I just actually just started. I did that record probably like five or ten minutes. When I first originally did the song, L.O.V., it wasn't mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to get super deep, I'm going to burn some weed and some incense and... You right. Know, get philosophical. The record was named L O V E because the world as a whole. I was speaking as if I was the world, and me being the world, like the things that I would like, I was um actually saying in within the verses. As you notice, it was like twelve bars. I think sixteen bars in each um in each verse. Very short to the point. It was like I was saying joy, pain, life, war. Like these are the things that go on on the earth physically. And like me by me being around at the end of the mm -hmm. at the end of the second verse. I, and I think I said the world is very different now. I was that's what I was saying. I wasn't okay. talking about me needing love. I was talking about the world as a whole, like, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, choose wider instrumentation, like use sounds that were bigger, that were more worldly, not just a part as opposed to like choosing the typical um the basic drum sets or the basic sounds or the basic or or the typical template flow or the template choice of uh, of lyricism in your music. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's not saying go super duper spaced out either so you lose everybody, but at the same point in time you want to be practical. And there are things in the world that people will forever, ever, and no matter what, always remain and talk about. That's love, that's depth, that's pain, and that's joy. These are four elements of music. No matter what genre of music you're talking about will always be relevant. I was in the military um, six years and seven months. I went around 17. I got out like three, four years ago. Okay. Yeah. And did you get out because you were finished? Did you go AWOL? Um, <clears throat> go postal? What happened? No, no. Um, I did my, I got out honorably. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I served in... Um, a combat situation in Bosnia. I did 11 months in a combat zone. I did mm -hmm. psychological warfare for two and a half years at Fort Bragg. Um, I worked in recruiting in Albany. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are pretty much my assignments. I went to a few schools. I went to the University of Maryland in Europe. I did uh, SUNY, SUNY Albany. I was mm -hmm. up there and I went to Campbell, Campbell University when I was stationed at Fort Bragg. So as far as like everything else that was involved, like I mean, a lot of people think the Army is what make you Discipline. It's not that. It's the people in the army that you come into contact with. Mm -hmm. I think to sort of change and make you, and make okay. you a better person. It wasn't like the military itself. When I was in the military, like I used to leave from work, and um, we had an hour and a half during lunch, and I would just take, I would book an hour studio time during lunch. I would eat thirty minutes, and I would go record for like maybe an hour, or maybe forty five minutes, whatever I can get in, and I would go back to work, back to post, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that was what I think initially started me, like sort of, I mean, sort of being able to like find my um my sound and just not find my sound, find my, like my vocal pocket on the records. And if I ever had a song that I, I did ever played on the radio and other people could hear my voice, I, I mm -hmm. felt like that would have been, that was like enough for me. Anything past that is a blessing. When you say you eat salmon, to me it probably doesn't matter. I may possibly use it as fuel to fire and burn better. In high school I had some longish fish burns that could burn Denzel and probably train any day in the hood. And what's the third word you told me? You could throw it in the air. Mainstream. I really can't remember mainstream. I'm probably there. So with the words of quote, and every word is dope, Miss Drama, with the interview, I probably won't spoke, but speaking upon maybe the left one, I said it. And if I didn't do it, maybe the first time you might get it. She said I was left field, but maybe I call it ill. 
And down south niggas on the grind call it trail. But in the hood, I'm a legend, maybe four from Mass So If I stumble the word back it up and I fix it slow. So whether beat or a cappella, I kill it, dog. And listen, y'all. It's a mere oh nine, I'm probably warning y'all. I need that.